Welcome to the MySO STEM session for April. Thanks for tuning in. In this month's lesson plan, we're really digging into the topic of agricultural science. For those of you who love science Olympiad events like botany, green generation, forestry, and home horticulture, you'll find plenty of activities around soil quality and the physical properties of soil, plants and animals that thrive in soil, and ideal conditions for crops. These subjects touch our lives every day as they connect to the food we eat, the air we breathe, and the overall health of the planet we call home. Coming up on April 22nd is Earth Day, a day when we come together as a global population to demonstrate support for environmental protection. Earth Day first started in 1970, and this year's theme is Invest in Our Planet. Some of the ways you can get involved in Earth Day on your own are to plant trees, reduce your use of plastics, invest in sustainable fashion, and pitch in to volunteer with cleanup efforts in your local community. Together, we can invest in our planet to help make our cities, beaches, rivers, lakes, trails, and parks safer and sustainable. One group I work with as part of the Million Women Mentors Initiative is the Illinois AgriWomen, an organization of farm and agricultural businesswomen dedicated to promoting a better understanding of agriculture and family farms. Since 1974, this group has worked to educate people on the importance of the farm industry and to invest in the next generation of the agricultural workforce, especially within underrepresented populations. Many partner companies work with the AgriWomen to support education, advocacy, and legislation to provide scholarships and apprenticeship opportunities to the young women across the state. Shout out to all the fantastic women advancing access in the agricultural industry. If you've ever considered a career in agricultural science, this next speaker is someone you'll want to learn from. This month's interview features Nate Daniels, Global Stewardship Portfolio Lead for Corteva AgriScience, a longtime Science Olympiad partner company. Nate's STEM journey began at Howard University in Washington, D.C., and continued at Purdue University in Lafayette, Indiana, where she received her master's degree. Her career at Corteva has included stints in biology and biochemistry, with projects like DNA extraction in the North American Seed Quality Lab, as part of her work in the Genetic Purity Lab. Let's listen in now to hear more. I attended Howard University, which is in Washington, D.C., for my undergraduate degree. I received my bachelor's in biology, after that, I attended Purdue University in Indiana for my master's degree. I studied medicinal chemistry and molecular pharmacology, and my thesis topic was breast cancer research. I have been with Corteva for 19 years. I am a scientist by training, but my current role is Global Stewardship Portfolio Lead. In this role, I work across many departments to help our company develop and release the best products for our customers. Stewardship is the responsible management of a product from its inception through its use and ultimate discontinuation. In my role, we ensure that a product is used correctly all the way through its entire life cycle. I really enjoy being a part of a process that provides stewardship support for the entire life cycle of products because that meets the needs of Corteva, our customers, and contributes to our sustainability goals. Through my role, I'm able to interact with teams and functions across the company, as well as partner with external organizations to help achieve our stewardship goals. I started in a microbiology lab, and then I transitioned to a DNA lab. I did that for a few years, and I decided to lead a DNA lab. This helped me to be able to help others in their career goals and what they wanted to do, and it gave me the opportunity to start a lab from the ground up. 
I even had the opportunity to help design robots for automation processes that we have. After that role, I conducted audits across the country and in some parts of the world. And after that role, I moved into my current role. Through all of my roles, I was able to contribute to many products in agriculture here at Corteva AgriScience. My typical day is a lot of meetings. I will discuss project updates, understand how our project ideas are working in the field. So the field is when we have corn, soybean, cotton, canola, and determine where there may be needs for changes. I get to meet with people from all around the world. So I may start my day with a meeting with a team in Europe, but by the end of the day, I'm meeting with a team in Asia, all from my office. I collaborate with other STEM professionals on a daily basis. I work with chemists, software engineers, agronomists, entomologists, the list is almost endless. Our company also encourages collaboration with professional organizations so I also work with STEM professionals outside of my company. During my STEM journey, organic chemistry was not my favorite subject. However, I met with a professor almost every day, went to his office hours, and did my best in the class, even though it wasn't an A. At the end of the semester, he recommended me for an internship at Purdue University. I was surprised because I wasn't his top student, but appreciated my persistence. And as I say, the rest is history. So as I mentioned earlier, I went to Purdue for graduate school and would not have made that decision if I didn't stick to learning as much as I could with my organic chemistry professor. So I like to say I am here today because of the work that I did to overcome the obstacles that I had early in my STEM journey. My advice to you is to stay the course, ask questions, and never give. My answer is absolutely. I had a mentor during my time at Howard University because I was a Ronald E. McNair scholar. Through that program, we were required to have a mentor to help us to do research in the lab. That helped me to realize the importance of having someone to talk to and to be a sounding board for you as you learn what you need to know in the STEM area. I continue to have a mentor, even in my time at Corteva. It is important to have someone that you can talk to, but also to be able to pay it forward. So in that regard, I am currently a mentor to some of my coworkers, and externally, I am a mentor through organizations such as MANNERS, which stands for Minorities in Agriculture, Natural Resources, and Related Sciences. Science Olympiad is an awesome opportunity for students to challenge their thinking. It helps you to think outside of the box, come up with creative solutions, all while working with the team. This is important because these are skills you will need in college, career, and beyond. Careers in science, and specifically agriculture, are growing in need. Agronomists, scientists in both the field and lab settings, so that includes entomology, biology, pathology, chemistry, plant sciences, 
the list is almost endless. Also engineers. So that would be mechanical, chemical, electrical, and agricultural. When we think about technology, that's important to help with future innovations and to help our daily work through software development, the use of statistics and information technology. The roles and possibilities are almost endless because we have one common goal, to feed the world. This may sound like a large undertaking, but hundreds of scientists are doing it every day. And we would like to have more people, and that includes students like you. My advice is to keep an open mind as you consider your career goals. Try something new and different. You never know until you try. The next great innovation or idea may come from you. So study hard, continue to do activities like Science Olympiad, and you too will be a great scientist. Thank you so much for listening this month, and we hope you'll visit the Science Olympiad website for resources and educational materials to support a career path of your choice. Thank you.